Religion is bullshit. Um, I just woke up, so this is gonna come off a little. Funny. Um, have you ever noticed the double nature of Christianity, where God will tell us, "Don't do this, don't do this," and He'll go right ahead and do it, and He wants us to be like Him. So basically, He wants us to. <coughs> Follow his rules by not following his example. Uh, sorry, follow his example by not following his rules. Um, for example, um, wrath. One of the seven deadly sins. God says, you know, don't take your wrath out on other people. But if you think about it, God's been the biggest arbiter of wrath since uh, the beginning of time. Sodom and Gomorrah, Noah's Ark, um, the the plagues that went through Egypt. Kind of looking bastard. Uh, let's see. No, that can just sloth. God says basically that taking a break any time is uh, sloth. It's a sin. But <coughs> you know he uh, takes the break on the seventh day. But it's like, um, you know, Patch Adams had a point. Some days should have been spent on compassion. Or less than fun, can't see chances. Um, greed and gluttony fit hand in hand with this one. <coughs> He wants us to believe that he is the one God, that he is the only being out there. And it's like he's trying to compete with like a whole staff board of fucking entities from other dimensions. You know, considering his um, attitude in the Old Testament, one would think he was like a um, office temp at the beginning of time that uh. Everyone just booted out and said, You suck, you suck. So he just decided to go off and make his own dimension and brainwash everyone there. Um, but in a sense, as I was saying, that's gluttony and greed altogether because it's spiritual gluttony and greed. He wants people to only worship him. Like he's the only, you know, living God of existence. Oh, lust fits into that category too. Of course, um, let me think. And, um, oh, here's one for you. There's a little known website that, uh, called the Dark Bible, which no, it's not satanic. It explains the fallacies and the abominations in the actual Bible. You see these uh, fucking Catholics who stand outside of uh, abortion clinics with pictures of dead babies and picket fences and uh, picket signs and shit. Told you I just woke up. Um, but in reality, he got actually um, endorses abortion. Read part of the Old Testament. He tells this prostitute, drink this vial, and if you cheat on your husband, you will abort. If you stay clean, I mean, it, it, wholesome message, but really badly put. Um, uh, God endorses incest. God endorses killing your children. God endorses eating feces. Um, oh, well, here's a close at mine, because I got finished, because my girlfriend's in a little annoyed. Um, think about the, uh, priests and the altar boys. If, if God wants us to be in his image, and the priests are Jesus's, you know, clones, basically, that only means one thing. Jesus was a boy fucker. Well, then,
we're going to end the debate that sounded like that to wrap up thing. That was a good thing to end it on. I can see all they need now and get. That's the point. I'm afraid that my fingers are really chilly.